Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are required to solve for x given that 3 to power x plus x is equal to 30. Here we have a fine combination of an exponential function, a linear function and also a constant making an equation. How do we go about solving for x? Before I proceed, I would like you to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, turn on the notification bell and also leave your comments in the comment section. It is important to also note that sharing is an act of love and love doesn't cost a thing. Therefore, share this video to your loved ones. If we look at the equation properly, we can easily put in the value 3 and then we'll get 30 because 3 to power 3 plus 3 will give us 30. 3 to power 3 is 27 plus 3, we see it is 30. So this guess and check method is very very easy. That means x is equal to 3. However, if we are not able to guess the value of x, what then do we need to do? I am going to use the product log method or the Lambert W method. In this product log method, we have it that e to power x times x is equal to a constant. We can rewrite it as x times e to power x equals to a constant if you like. Then we will now take since um, we have the uh, unknown variable here and then the power of the exponent being the same as the unknown variable, we can take the w of both sides. So I have w here times x times e to power x is equal to w times the constant. So our aim in solving this question now is to manipulate the problem such that it will look like this. And then after it looks like this, we can now take the Lambert w of both sides. So how do we proceed? Now let us start with the question 3 to power x plus x is equal to 30. The first thing I will do is to take x to the other side. So I have 3 to power x is equal to 30 minus x or I can write it as minus x plus 30 is equal to 3 to power x. I now need to divide both sides by 3 to power x. That becomes minus x plus 30 divided by 3 to power x is equal to 3 to power x over 3 to power x. We can also rewrite this as minus x plus 30 times 3 to power minus x. 3 to power x over 3 to power x is 1. What then do we need to do? We want to make whatever we have here the same thing with what we will have as the power of, the, of e. We need to add 30 here and for us to do that, we need to multiply both sides by 3 to power 30. So let us multiply both sides by 3 to power 30. And I have minus x plus 30 times 3 to power minus x times 3 to power 30 is equal to 1 times 3 to power 30. Now, if we now apply law of indices, that is the product law of indices, a raised to power, let's say n, multiplying e raised to power m will have e raised to power n plus m so i'll apply this law here since the basis here and here are the same so it becomes minus x plus 30 times 3 to power minus x plus 30 is equal to 3 to power 30. you see we have successfully made the power and these are coefficients to be the same however if we look at the formula we will see that we have an e that is the exponent so what are we going to do to make this part of the equation to look exactly like this or to be in this form what we need to do is to rewrite this term 3 to power minus x plus 30 such that we will have the exponent there now if we remember that e x is equal to x then we can apply it and then manipulate this part so that we can have it in this form. How do we do that? So 3 to power minus x plus 30 can be written as e 
ln 3 to the power minus x plus 30. It is the same thing as minus 3 plus minus x rather plus 30. So we have this now. Let us rewrite this equation as e to the power minus x plus 30 ln 3 is equal to e ln 3 minus x plus 30. What I have is minus x plus 30 e raised to power minus x plus 30 times ln 3 is equal to 3 to power 30. We now see that one thing again is remaining. I have ln here. I don't have ln throughout the equation except as the power of e. Now what I need to do is to multiply both sides by ln 3. So it becomes minus x plus 30 times ln 3 e minus x plus 30 ln 3 is equal to 3 to power 30 ln 3. So I now have that is this function and this function to be the same. So since that is now the case, I can take W of both sides. Let, let's remember that we have rewritten or manipulated the problem, the original problem, which is this, to be in this form. So we can confidently take W of both sides. So if I take W here, minus X plus 30, ln 3, E to power minus X plus 30, ln 3, is equal to W 3 to power 30 ln 3. According to the formula, if I take the W of both sides, I will get X. So my W X dot E X will give me X. Yes. So what I have here is minus X plus 30 times ln 3 is equal to W 3 to power 30 ln 3. So to make x the subject, let's divide both sides by ln3. So I have minus x plus 30 divided by ln3. It will cancel out w3 to power 30 ln3 over ln3. Now let us subtract 30 from both sides and then multiply both sides by minus 1. So x equals to... If I remove this 30 here, it becomes minus 30, then multiply by minus again, I have plus 30, minus W3 to power 30, ln3 over ln3. So, this is the solution to the equation. However, we may be required to find the exact value of x. And if that's the case, we now need to consult the Wolfram Alpha calculator. And this um, constant, which is minus W3 to power 30 ln3, will give us 29.662532. Let me stop there. Now, x is equal to 30 minus 29.662532 divided by ln3. x equals to 30 minus 27 and then x equals to 3.